according to Moses, was Jesus a sinner? Now, that's a huge question for me to ask. But we have a story recorded in Matthew chapter 8, where Jesus went out of his way to deliberately touch a leper. You think, what's the big deal? Well, let's see what Moses says about touching lepers. And then we'll come back to the question again. Now, Jesus could have healed this leper just by speaking the word. Because in verses 10 to 16, we have another healing recorded where Jesus healed people by speaking the word. But with the leper, he deliberately touched him. And he was sending a message to us loud and clear. Let's read the story in Matthew 8, 1 to 4. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. He was a leper. He was unclean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, see that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift commanded for a proof to them. Jesus was fully aware of the law of Moses. He healed the leper and then he said, go and fulfill the law of Moses. Show yourself to the priest in harmony with the law of Moses. And he's going to check that the leprosy is gone and then offer a sacrifice according to the law of Moses. So Jesus was fully familiar with what Moses had said about laws concerning leprosy. What did Moses say about touching lepers? Are you ready? Leviticus 5, 3 and 6. Or if he touches human uncleanness, leprosy, of whatever sort the uncleanness may be, with which one becomes unclean. If someone touches someone that is unclean, that's verse 5. Now look at verse 6. He shall bring to the Lord as his compensation for the sin that he has committed. What? He shall bring to the Lord as his compensation for the sin he has committed. A female from the flock, a lamb or a goat, for a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him for his sin. The law of Moses was clear, unequivocally clear. It was forbidden to touch an unclean person. And if you did, you committed a sin and you were guilty and you had to offer an animal sacrifice as atonement for your sin. Jesus went out of his way to deliberately touch the unclean person when he could have easily spoken the word and healed him, as we saw in Matthew eight thirteen to 16. He touched him. According to Moses, Jesus committed sin, was guilty, and had to offer sacrifice to make atonement for his sin. And that's why Jesus said to the guy, now listen, don't go tell anyone what I have just done. Well, it's obvious why he committed a sin. Jesus or Moses? Jesus or Moses? Jesus went right in the face, deliberately, willfully, to what Moses said. If Moses had have been there, he would have said, you have sinned. You need to offer a sacrifice for your sin to make atonement. And Jesus knew it. He told the guy, don't tell anyone what I've done. They would have evidence that Jesus had sinned. So what point am I making? People are more important than rules. 
you see lepers were ostracized and cast away from the community. They had to go outside the gates. They never spoke to anyone. They never touched anyone. Isolated. Dignity stripped. Never touched anyone. The whole time of their leprosy. And this guy, more than anything else, needed someone to touch him. Jesus put people's worth, value, and dignity above rules. Jewish rules. In the eyes of Moses, Jesus was a sinner. In the eyes of God, Jesus was not. People are more important than rules. It's sobering. God bless you.